Hello, and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep, and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And today, we're going to be rambling about pancakes. Or maybe it's burgers. Who knows? <laughs> we're going to talk about IHOP. Or is it IHOB? I don't know. Uh, but according to this article... Uh, Foursquare says IHOP's IHOB rebrand was an IFLOP. Okay, so um, if you didn't know, International House of Pancakes have rebranded themselves to International House of Burgers. And I heard about this a little little ways back, and I'm like, huh? I'm like, are you serious? They're IHOB? I-H-O-B? I'm like, is that a joke? <laughs> I'm like, what does the B stand for? Does it stand for breakfast? Which would make sense to me. Interna International House of Breakfast. If they didn't want to be known just for pancakes. Because they, they have other breakfast items. You know, waffles and stuff like that. I think it's a great place to go and have breakfast. That made sense to me. But Interna International House of Burgers. It's like, don't we have enough burger places already? Uh, Red Robin comes to mind. You know, if I want a, if I want a good burger, I would go to Red Robin. Um, I, there's other burger companies out there too, besides Red Robin. Um, but anyway, um, I'll give you my thoughts, uh, cause I started looking into this a little bit more and just an, as a summary, I think this is just a marketing scheme. Just like how New Coke came out with a new formula and then created a whole stir and then uh, came back with Classic Coke and then their sales were like through the roof. I think that's what this might be. But uh, let's go into this article here. All right. So last week, my beloved International House of Pancakes Change this name to IHOB or the International House of Burgers. I don't know when this... Okay, this is June 21st that this came out. I think this has been changed a while ago, but... Maybe, maybe it was just recently. I don't know. It was just a few days ago. Um, it was a big time rebanding as well. So this this uh, animation here is comes from their commercial, which I think we have a video here. Um... It was a pivot from flapjacks to hamburgers. I guess they didn't think to change it to IHOP, <laughs> the International House of Pancake Burgers. That would look so weird. That would look like International House of Peanut Butter. <laughs> if they did this, that's that's what I would think. International House of Peanut Butter. If they had, <laughs> I'd be there right now. International House of Peanut Butter and Jelly. Yeah. All right. Let's see what this video is. Yum 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 Okay so that right there is the commercial that uh I hop or now I hob Now see I like hop because to me, you know, the IHOP is like, hey, let's IHOP, you hop, we all hop to the uh, International Pancakes, you know, hop. Hob is like you hobble. It's like someone, you know, whacked your leg and you're kind of like hobbling your way to the restaurant. I'm going to hobble my way to the restaurant and get myself a burger. <laughs> I don't know. IHOP just doesn't sound right. Or hob as in hobgoblin. You know, <laughs> I'm a hobgoblin. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, um, Fourscore is all over Twitter playing spoiler. The location intelligence company says its data shows that the big rebranding, complete with media blitz and wacko YouTube vids, 
don't really send people flooding into the restaurants. You think? In fact, Foursquare says it didn't see any increased traffic into the new IHUB, IHUB at all. What did you expect? Everyone knows about the International House of Pancakes. I mean, we all have burger places all over the place. How many pancake places do you know of? I don't know very many pancake restaurants. I mean, there's the Waffle House. Okay, Waffles. They have pancakes there too. But, you know, I, when it comes to breakfast places, I think, okay, Waffle House, International House Pancakes. I'm sure there's a few. I mean, like Denny's, I kind of associate with breakfast and lunch and stuff like that. But when I think breakfast, I think like Waffle House, International House Pancakes. When you show me a commercial that says International House of Pancakes, now we're International Burgers, that doesn't make me think, ooh, I got to go check them out. My thought is, oh, just what we need, another burger restaurant. <laughs> That's my thought. Now, maybe I'm in the minority. I don't know. But when they're saying that this wasn't sending people flooding into the restaurant, that, mm, wow. And you're surprised. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> wondering if last week's burger campaign from IHOB drove actual visits to the chain. Well, let's see. what What is this video right here? Some little animation. I guess that is all there is. All right. Uh, there is no significant overall in foot traffic one week after launch, nor was there an increase in lunchtime or evening visits. IHOB, as you can imagine, wasn't too happy about Foursquare's assessment. Yeah, truth hurts, doesn't it? Uh, oh, that's advertisement. I don't want to play that. While interesting, Foursquare's findings don't completely or accurately reflect what we're seeing in our restaurants, said IHOP's comms and public relations lead Stephanie Peterson in an email to Fast Company Friday. Overall, we're pleased with the early results and the guest feedback we've heard related to our new steak burgers. I love how she managed to slip a little burger branding in there. Adweek gave credit to IHOB for responding well to the decreasing popularity of pancakes and their rising interest in burgers and for making funny on the social medias. But you know, likes and retweets aren't going to keep the lights on in the stores. But pancakes are pancakes. I mean, yeah, they had like, come on. I mean, you know, pancakes are great. I mean, if if I want a burger, I'll go to a burger place. I mean, why would I want to? You were like doing pancakes and why not just people like to have breakfast at all times of the day. So, oh. You know that thing, you know that saying where if it's don't if it's not broke, don't fix it. Yeah, what why can't people just not just leave things the way they are? <laughs> Maybe I'm just old, I guess. I don't know. It, if it's not broke, don't fix it. That's just my thing. Um there's another article here I want to go into. In regards to this uh, IHOP, IHOP thing, will the new marketing strategy work? Okay, this article is actually today, June 25th. Um, it may not be the same day that I post this video, but it's the same day that I'm actually recording this video. All right, so three weeks after the International House of Pancakes, IHOP. Okay, so three weeks. So the other, what, this one right here, which was... June 21st. I always wonder about the dates on some of these articles. Because it seems like they changed the dates on these articles and they're not very accurate. Um, so three weeks. Okay, so I guess around June is when it started. Three weeks after the Inter Inter International House of Pancakes launched a teaser campaign to call itself IHOB to draw diners to its burgers. Because, um, hey, we know that diners are those little 50 joints. You'd have to see in one of my other videos to, to get that joke. Uh, marketing pundits are still debating the wisdom of the rebranding move. <laughs> this whole thing, it's like, we're still debating the wisdom of the rebranding move. Like, it takes a rocket scientist to figure this out. 
I don't know if this was such a great idea to rebrand. I don't know, you called yourself International House of Pancakes for, what, how long now? I mean, hold on here. I... I'm going to do some research. We're going to do some research live, all right? Doo -doo -doo. We're going to Google. All right. So here we are. Wikipedia. Most reliable source on the internet. <laughs> I say that with a straight face. Alright, so International House of Pancakes. They have still have IHOP here. Um, has been around since founded 1958. So 59 years ago. So why would you want it's been working for you for that long. Why would you want to change that? Let's see. June 2015, IHOP introduced an updated logo, removing its decorative elements and adding a curved line under the O and P letters to resemble a smiley face. Okay. I don't see a problem with that. Some logos look really good when they're, when they're redone, and, and some logos really should not have been changed. A uh, company argued that the previous curved restaurants element of the previous logo looked too much like a frown and that the new branding would capture the essence of the IHOP experience. Blah, blah. And then June 2018, the chain launched a campaign in which it flipped its name to IHOP in anticipation of an impending announcement on June 11th. The ads led to social media users speculating what the B stood for in the context of this campaign and questioning if this would be a permanent change. It was pointed out by a CNN Money reporter, in case you're wondering, CNN Money is a financial news information, uh, that IHOP had not registered any trademarks for IHOP. Okay, that's interesting. And that IHOP.com was owned by an unknown firm with Red Acted Who Is Records. I don't know what that is, but partial information pointing to a location in Canada based on promotional material prematurely placed at one IHOP location. Ugh, sorry. At one IHOP location, a business insider writer concluded that the campaign was intended to promote the restaurant's burgers. Fact confirmed as scheduled on June 11th. The company stated to Advertising Age that the campaign was meant to address perceptions that IHOP was still primarily focused on breakfast. Okay. So this supports the theories that I've got in regards to um, what I think was going on. So I don't think... Now I've been wanting to... I haven't looked yet. There's an IHOP not too far from where we are i've been wanting to go check it out and see if the sign changed and if it says i hob now um maybe you could all tell me has the local i hops where you're at have they changed has the sign changed does it have i hob now is it i h o b or does it still say i hop <clears throat> that would be very interesting to to, to find out um because what i think is this is just a marketing uh, thing because everyone was coming in for their breakfast. Everyone knows IHOP for its pancakes and breakfast and stuff like that. But they're trying to get people to say, hey, you know what? We got other stuff here besides pancakes. We got burgers, too. We got really good burgers. Come on in. Try our burgers out. Thus, the whole marketing thing about dun, 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 IHOP. I get that. If that's what if that's where they're going at with that, then that's genius, genius marketing right there. So if they 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 have no if they have no uh, intention of changing the name of the company, and this little uh, this little flip of the the P to the B is just a little marketing thing to try to get people in and make them aware of hey look what else is on our menu, then good. That that's very good. Um, 
yeah, so other breakfast items, they got waffles, French toast, omelets. I mean, yeah, and they have like sandwiches, burgers, and salads, okay? So, yeah, so I, I, I personally think it's just a marketing thing to get people in there to try some of their other menu items out. Not just for breakfast, but to get them in there in other parts of the day, too. Makes sense to me. Makes sense to me. Um, they're talking about that website. Let's look up ihob.com. Ooh. <laughs> this site is under construction and coming soon. <laughs> ah, okay. Maybe they are changing their name. I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. Assuming they go with IHOB. Maybe we'll just do a Google search on IHOB and see what comes up. Well, nope. No official website or anything like that. All right, so now what I wanted to kind of go... There is there's another article I want to show, but first of all, I kind of want to show this... Um, their stock. Okay, so I'm going to kind of move things around here. But you can see um, here's their stock. It's uh, down here. It was around 40 bucks a share um, towards the end of last year, 2017. And it's been going up um, despite the trouble the stock market's been having this year because of the, uh, the threat of trade war and, and Trump uh, not knowing when to stop uh, tweeting. Uh, they've had some leaps in their stock, especially here in March, and it's gone down. But you look here in June, it was going down. And when they started making that announcement about the change, look what it did. Look at the stock. It's It's been increasingly going up. So that's... That's really interesting there. Um, if we can zoom in a little bit more. So here is June. So it's been steadily going up. Man. If I had any thought to have been tracking this, I would have bought some stock or some call options or something around here. Would have made some good money. Look at that. Uh, well, here, here's some here's some uh, investment opportunities. Um, I'm not saying go out and buy stock. Because <laughs> uh, it... Never know. It might still go up. It might go down. You know, might maybe buy some put options. You never know. I'll, I'll leave that up to you. Might want to practice. I... I, I'm out of the stock market, uh, so I'm not messing with it at the moment. It's, it's, it's too, uh, it don't know where it wants to go at the moment. Uh, anyway, so yeah, this is, this is interesting. You can, sometimes, uh, a company stock will really tell you something, you know, about a company. You can really learn a lot about a company and if something is going well or not so well. Um, just by looking at that. So, interesting. Okay, so let's take a look at this uh, other article here. All right, so this is will the new marketing strategy work? Okay, so three weeks after uh, International House of Pancakes launched a teaser campaign. Uh, IHOP's parent organization should be happy to see their stock gaining 30% in that period to $80. So, yeah, we just looked at that. For nearly 60 years, IHOP has positioned itself as a breakfast destination for its pancakes, but it clearly saw hidden value in another ignored item on its menu. It's burgers! And with a single tweet, open the doors to the lunch and dinner markets. IHOP's tweet spawned a viral discussion on social media drawing both praise for what many saw as a bold move and criticism for what others saw as a flop. Or uh, flap? <laughs> as in a flapjack? I don't know. 
uh, or flop, as in like you're flipping a pancake or a burger and it flopped on the floor. According to experts at Wharton and the University of Maryland, IHOP could see big gains if it can invest in product improvement, read Better Burgers, and ensure quality control at its 1,650 locations. I, haven't had, I don't think I've had any of their burgers. It also has to find ways to overcome the declining popularity of sit-down casual food restaurants and complete compete more effectively with fast, casual, and quick service restaurants like Chipotle, Shake Shack, and Five Guys Burgers, they said. The long view, judging IHOP's rebranding strategy, calls for a long-term view. Remember, the consumer purchase funnel, awareness, consideration, evaluation, liking, attempt to buy, actual purchase, and post-purchase loyalty. That's a lot of thinking. <laughs> Does anyone ever go through these stages when you're about to buy something? First, I have to be aware of something. Then I have to consider it. Then I have to evaluate. Then I have to like it. And then I have to actually intend to buy, actually purchase it, and then have that loyalty to come back and purchase it more. Does anyone actually have go through those stages? Like actually consciously go through those stages and are aware of it? <laughs> uh, funny. Someone spent too much time analyzing. My phone is ringing. I'm making a video. I don't know who you are. Um, blah, blah. There are many second and third and fourth order effects, word of mouth, that may create lagged sales. People are talking about it in social media. Blah, blah, blah. In order to work out well, repositioning a brand takes time, effort, and message discipline. Target did not become Tar J overnight. Oh, okay. That took me a moment to figure out what in the world they were talking about. Uh, they're pronouncing Target G as a J. Anyway, uh, more immediately, the social media momentum IHOP has gained is, of course, a boon that money cannot often buy. Just the sheer volume of talk about IHOP and hi IHOP is a fantastic win for that company. Well, you can't deny it. A lot of people are talking about it, so it's created a whole lot of buzz. IHOB should find profit in the talk about it, even if it's what's said is not always complimentary. In the days before the B in IHOB was revealed to represent burgers, it created all kinds of speculation, and the new social media environment thrives on that kind of thing. They got people guessing and lots of people making fun, but their campaign has been goofy and playful and lighthearted from the beginning. A B for beginning! Interna International House of Beginnings. I am so clever. Um, buzz! <laughs> International House of Buzz. International House of Buildings. Interna International House of Brilliance. I'm just looking for bees that are on this page. Boyds! Inter International House of Boys. That, that'd be a sexist comment. Uh, <laughs> la, 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 la. On the manipulation of playing a social media, they did that brilliantly. Blah, 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 blah. One word for IHOP would be that the buzz in social media became short lived, etc., etc., etc. People are talking about it, yada, yada, yada. Another word for IHOP is that it's getting into a more challenging part of the burger market. Um, a lot of headwind they're facing is that broad category of fast casual where you can go in and just pick up a burger or a meal without table service that's reasonably high quality not where i'm at well in and out burger we got in and out burger where we're at love in and out burger um, casual dining is where you sit down and order and that category is declining that's where ihop sits that said it does make sense for ihop to make a bid to enter that market and compete with the entrenched brands there they don't have to win. They they just need a basic level of parity with the other brands. That gives people another reason to go in there. Doesn't IHOP have those drive throughs I thought they had like a, a pick up a pick up uh, and go uh, thing. I thought I saw one. Maybe I'm just confusing them with another thing. But if they have like a, a pick up window, did, people could just order their burgers and pick them up. You know, just like a drive through type of thing. So. There's an idea there, IHOP, IHOB. You're welcome. Send me a coupon. 
Uh, that said, it does make sense for IHOP to make a bid to enter that market and compete with the entrenched brands there. They don't have to win. They just need a... Oh, yeah, we just already read that. Changing long hail perceptions among patrons is... Uh, when you say IHOP... When it's time for breakfast, I go to IHOP. When it's time for... Yeah, go to In-N-Out Burger. Yeah, Shake Shack. I do love... Shake Shack is great. We don't have one here. Or do we? No, I think we, we may have a Shake Shack. It's, um, man, what's the name of that other place? It's, uh, Steak and Shakes. Steak and Shakes. That's what we don't have. I love Steak and Shakes. I love Steak and Shakes and, um, White Castle. When we don't have any of those where we're at. And they are totally unhealthy. (laughs) Maybe that's a good thing. (laughs) Zenburger. I don't think we have one of those. Um, living up to expectations and any meaningful impact on IHOP sales is not going to happen unless there has been some kind of substantial change in the product. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Big stumbling box. Uh, momentum. Understanding strategy. Um, something addressed to clients it's casual dining restaurants pancake consumption revenues blah blah pancakes are about carbs well yeah so are burgers duh I hope's ultimate steak burger is priced at six ninety five with unlimited fries uh well carbs <laughs> you want to talk about pancakes are all carbs well hello ultimate steak burger the bread is carbs the fries, unlimited, is carbs. Come on, man. In their mental accounting, people may attribute the cost to endless fries. He said it might be a smart idea to offer unlimited fries. Oh, hey, you know, that's a low-carb solution right there. Because margins on those may be small in any case, like with unlimited refills and sodas, because, hey, there's no carbs in that either. And there are only so many servings of fries a single person can eat. Anyway... The six ninety five price also sets higher expectations on quality on par with five guys. And we talk about Wendy's Burger King McDonald's, which if you want crappy burgers, that's where you go. Um, <laughs> I have not gone to any of those restaurants in like ever, and I have no interest to. And talk about risky campaigns. There are others who have tempted rebranding, such as Pizza Hut, calling itself Pasta Hut a decade ago. Really? I don't ever remember Pasta Hut. With IHOP, it was really a fundamental play on the name. Hold on here. Pasta Hut. All right, we got to look this up. There's got to be a video or something on this. I think I may have found it. All right, let's see here. Is this the, okay. This is the stock. Pizza Hut introduces something so big it will change everything. Okay. Published on March 31st. Okay, that was an April Fool's joke. Come on. <laughs> Are they were they being serious on that on that article that they that that, that was going to be like a thing? Like they were really changing their name? I mean, look, right here. March 31st, 2008. Where, where was that? They attempted to rebrand, such as Pizza Hut cost... It was, it was an April Fool's joke! <laughs> I guess that one... Whoop, right over their head. Uh, <laughs> Alright, brands have to do some amount of reha- refreshing on a regular basis. Uh, let's see. Case study about Red Lobster. Um... They were battling declining sales, negative customer satisfaction levels, 
Company change its logo, change interiors at its restaurants. I don't know. Clean your floors or something. That might help. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I haven't been to Red Lobster in a long time. Lower your prices. They're kind of expensive. But most fundamentally, they improved the product. He said he brought in a new grilling system at all of its 800 locations. Those are big and expensive changes to make, but you have to get those in place. Blah, blah, blah. Experts agree that IHOP's core business of pancakes would stay unaffected if it fails to capitalize on the current social media buzz. At best, the chain's patrons might shrug off the burger experiment as unwise. They felt they maybe allowed it and a bunch of other stuff. So, anyways, um, that is uh, really all that I have to say about that. Ah! Um, what do you all think about this whole thing about pancakes and burgers? And do you like pancakes and burgers? Do you like your burgers on your pancakes and your pancakes on your burgers? Or maybe you like to make burgers with pancakes on them or put your burger on your pancake. Or, you know, maybe you like to put maple syrup on your burger. Um, whatever it is that you like to do, please let me know in the comments below. Like this video. Um, if you like the video, uh... I like likes. I like you. Please like the video. Share it with others. That's also a good thing, too. Um, I f would like to go check out um, the International House of Burgers and uh, report back to you. Uh, I am going to do it like within the next couple of days, but I would like to do a follow-up video on this and... Let you know what I what I think in regards to the burgers. So uh, so for uh, IHOP out there, IHOP, whatever you want to call yourselves, uh, free advertising for you. All right, I'm gonna go to your restaurant. I'm gonna try out one of your burgers. I understand you have a cowboy burger. I'm all about cowboy burgers. Give me some barbecue sauce. I'm good. I'm good for barbecue sauce. I love that stuff. I want to try out your burgers and. See how it is, all right? And I will come back. I'll do a follow-up video, and I'll let you know how they are. Um, until then, I got other videos, and they are right over here. So go ahead and uh, click on one of those videos. And uh, other than, until next time, I'll see you on the next video. See ya.